The game may have been pretty boring yesterday, but it wasn't short of its drama. So today, we're going to look at the fallout, we're going to look at a few quotes and address a few things that went down prior to the match, during the match, and comments after the match. But let's start on Clyde Super, Clyde Super scoreboard, shall we? Because what have we got here? Craig Lafine saying, Do you want to start? Do you want me to start? What the bleep happened there? Anybody know? Anybody help me with it? Craig Lafine was left as confused as his St. Johnston players after Serial Dessert scored the con contentious opener in Rangers 2 0 when it hammed in right. This is just, it's weird. I, I was doing a watch along, didn't really have the game up at full volume. You know, there's talk about whistles going off, there's talk of players playing to the whistle, there's talk of players not. Um, you know, there's players saying that he pointed back to where he wanted to give the free kick. But the problem with this is just the referee. The, the, the referee has opened a can of worms here. And I, I can definitely... I understand Levine. I understand St. Johnson. But at the same time, I think a lot of people are trying to pin this on Rangers. It really ain't on Rangers, right? Rangers, at the end of the day, scored a goal that the referee messed up. And here... Yeah, See if this was switched a bit, would we be pissed off? Of course you would. But the reality is, this is the referee's fault. It's a mess. And instead of coming out and acknowledging it's their fault and the SFA apologising for the goal, they've doubled down and that's why everyone's pissed. You know, it's not just Lafine. We've seen McCann, Neil McCann come out. We've seen Richard Foster, formerly of both clubs, come out and say that it's just, it's just lies straight up from the SFA. So what is next? We'll dive in. To a wee bit more here, as you can see, Craig Levine says, I thought it was a foul for us. Puzzling would be a nice word. It wasn't a foul for them, but at the end of the day, the referee thought it was and <sighs> signaled that he was going to give the free kick, half blew his whistle, and then Desser scored. Then he, then he ruled the goal off. It's just an absolute mess, to say the least, right? Yeah, you know what? It, it wasn't a foul, but if he just gave it, and blew the whistle straight away, like clearly, because you know there's a lot of people saying, "Well, he didn't blow it clearly, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And I think that is a lot of the problems here that are stemming from that because he hasn't done it clearly. At the end of the day, it's just a mess. It's like no matter what game Rangers play this season, I know you haven't played many, right? We've played what five matches. Each game just seems to have like controversy or just injuries, or in some cases both. There's just something going on with Rangers at the minute. It, it's in the water. I don't really know what else to say. You know, for me, I said yesterday that that's 100% a goal. But at the same time, you look at it and it's like, well, you know what, that's, that's so unfair on St. Johnson. I do, I do think it is with the whole whistle situation. But, you know, you're supposed to play to the whistle, but it was half blown. Well, what do you do? Honestly, is the, ref the referees went too far, right? And it's like, he disallowed it for what he thought was a foul on Dessers. But then he's went too far, and honestly, I don't see how he's got much of a better few at far. You need to few these things in real time. When they slow it down, it makes it look worse. Obviously, yo, the guy's booked at Dessers. But we've seen last September where that happened. When Lagabielka booked at Dessers, the goal got disallowed, and it went. Uh, it was stayed at 0-0. So does the referees just favour Celtic over St. Johnston? Did they look at it today and went, you know what, we're either going to have a lot of pissed off Rangers fans or we can have a few pissed off St. Johnson fans. And I think they've chose the latter there. It's just a mess, honestly. I, just, I don't get it. The SFA is a disgrace. You know, just, just come in and admit it, man. All right? And then come on said, everything is not as bad as some people feel. I disagree with that. The game was awful yesterday. We were poor. Could we have scored more goals? Yes. Did Danilo miss a whole host of chances? Aye. Um, but, I mean, people are talking about, oh, we didn't need... Like, yo, take away... It's not Rangers' fault, that goal yesterday, right? But it is heaped in controversy now. Take that goal away and it stays 0-0 there. Do we go through in that game? There's no guarantee. Since Johnson had to go for it, they opened a wee bit up at the back and that's how we got our second goal for Ian McCausland. Good goal for McCausland. A legit goal. But, end of day, St. Johnson had to go for it and opened up and that's why... I think we got that goal. We did not play good. I think we were better in the second half than the first, but that wouldn't be hard. But, you know, come on to come out and say something like this. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot made about what they did post-match, all celebrating with the Union Bears over in the corner of the stadium. 
And it's like, we've just beat St. Johnston 2 now. I've seen a lot. I've seen the fan base is definitely split by that. It's like, oh, yeah, it's good. We need to get on this, right? But, you know, it's... We, I don't even know what to make of it. For me, it's not for me, right? I'm not going to completely go too for it and, and, and say, oh, that's a disgrace that every player should be sold and Clement needs to be sacked for that. But to me, it's a bit tin pot. To me, it's a bit pathetic. It's like, you know, what's going to happen next week against Ross County? What's going to happen the week after against Celtic? Like, this looked like something that was pre-planned. Clement also coming out and saying that Rangers should have won by, like, 5 or 6 or whatever, 5-1. Disagree with that. Um... St. Johnson had their chances as well in the game. I just I, I just don't really get what's going on at Rangers at the minute. And for me, yeah, I mean, I get it. We need to celebrate these victories, but we, we, we've scraped past St. Johnson. The only positive is, is that we're in the next round of the Cup for me. You can't take any positive through the performance, and there's no reason to, you know, play. Jump around. Come on, everybody, jump around. No, there's no reason to play that, no. And then our final piece of business, because we've covered all that. I believe it was prior to the game... Some fan has been arrested for, you know, stealing the uh, the drum off of a St. Johnston employee, the the SLO, you know, just just scumbag behaviour there. It needs called out, it needs addressed. Uh, we don't shy away from things on this channel and, uh, yeah, you know, there's just no call to do that. It's pathetic, you know. Um, it's not just, you know, it's not every Rangers fan, of course, not, it was only a few, but, again, it's the few that make you look, it makes the rest days look poor, and it's not a good look seeing that happen, especially to a woman. You know, not to, I'm not wouldn't defend it as against a man, but it's just pathetic, scumbag behaviour for a few individuals yesterday. And yeah, Rangers. Uh, again, I, I just don't, I just don't get the whole happy feeling for Clement and the play at the, at the end, and they're all going ballistic. Baffles my mind, but we won, so I'm not going to be too overly critical, but. Jesus Christ, it, w it would be nice next week to play well, beat Ross County about 6-0, no controversy, nice clean win, few of our players getting goals, few of our players getting assists, new players doing well, no injuries picked up, is it too much to ask Rangers, and no controversy outside of the pitch, nothing to do with tickets, nothing to do with stadiums, nothing to do with bloody, you know, kits, uh, 9.5 court cases, etc, etc. Is it too much to ask Rangers for a normal weekend, for a normal week? Because it just, it just seems to be piling up, man, on top of each other. And it, it, looks, like, it looks like it's never-ending, man. Looks like it is never-ending at Rangers Football Club at the minute. Just absolutely crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, guys, we'll be back later on, I'm sure, with some more content. But uh, check out Fog Football, be cup review later on the night. Few other games refused, but until next time, we more fallout, I'm sure.